Welcome back to Excel Dictionary's YouTube channel. I'm Emma, the founder of Excel Dictionary, and today we're going to cover three different methods for customizing number series in Excel. There's also a bonus tip at the end of the video, so make sure to watch until the end. Let's get started. The first method we are going to use to create a number series is autofill. This method is pretty straightforward and is super simple to use if you're looking for a quick way to create a numbered list. To use autofill, all you have to do is enter the first couple values in the list and then fill the values down the column using the autofill handle. So in this case, I'm going to enter a one and a two, select the values, and then drag the autofill handle down the number of rows we want to include in the series. The same thing works for number series across rows as well. So if you wanted this number series across this row instead of down this column, all you would have to do is enter the first two values of the series in each column, and then drag these values across the row to automatically fill the number series. Now, what if we wanted to increase each value in the series by two instead of one? So the number series contains one, three, five, seven, and so on. Well, the cool thing about autofill is that as long as you enter the first couple of values in the series, autofill can typically pick up on the pattern. So for example, if we wanted our series to increment by two, I would enter a one, three, and a five, and then fill these values down the column using the autofill handle. As you can see, autofill was able to pick up the pattern and fill it down the column for us. Autofill is great for quickly creating short number series, but it can be tedious if you need to create a large number series because you would have to drag the autofill handle down thousands of rows. If you need to create a large number series, don't panic because the sequence function is here to help. The sequence function is a newer Excel function that allows you to quickly create number series. Let's take a look at how this function works. To create a number series from one to 10,000 using the sequence function, all we have to do is enter the sequence function, enter 10,000 as a rows argument because this series contains 10,000 rows, and that's it. Now we have a numbered list from one all the way to 10,000. We can also create customized number series using the sequence functions arguments, but before we do that, let's quickly review each of them. The first argument is a rows argument, which is the number of rows the series contains. The next argument is the columns argument, which is the number of columns the series contains. Next, we have the start argument, which is the number the series starts on. And finally, we have the step argument, which is the amount each number in the series is increased by. It's also important to note that if you omit any of these arguments, they are automatically set equal to one. So if we wanted to create this same number series across this row instead of down this column, all we would have to do is enter the sequence function and then enter 10,000 as a column argument instead of the row argument to fill the series in the columns to the right. Now let's create the same number series we created using autofill that increases each value by two. To do this, all we would have to do is enter the sequence function, enter the number of values we want the series to contain as a rows argument. For this example, I'm going to enter 20, and now we need to utilize the step argument to increase each number in the series by two. So I'm going to enter a two as the step argument, enter the function, and now we have a number series that increases each value by two. Finally, let's say we actually wanted this number series to start at two so that it displays even numbers instead of odd. Not a problem. All we have to do is enter a two as the start argument in the formula bar, and now the series starts on two. Now that we've mastered creating number series using the sequence function, let's look at one more tool we can use to build custom series, the series tool. The series tool is also a great tool for quickly creating large series. To create a number series from one to 10,000 using the series tool, enter the first value of the series, select the value, and then open the series tool by opening the fill dropdown on the home tab and selecting series. This opens up the series dialog box, which is where you can customize the series using these settings. So in this example, we want to create a number series from one to 10,000 down the first column. So we need to update the series in value to columns to fill the series down the column and then enter 10,000 as a stop value to stop the series on 10,000. Now we can just hit okay and we have a number series from one to 10,000. You can also adjust the amount each number is increased by using the step value. So for example, 
If we changed our mind and wanted each of these numbers to increment by two instead of one, we can open the series tool, select columns, enter 10,000 as our stop value, and now this time we need to enter a two as a step value. Hit OK, and now the series increments each value by two. Another excellent use case for the series tool is creating a series of dates. So for example, if we wanted to create a date series containing every day from now until the end of the year, all we would have to do is enter today's date, open the series tool, select columns to fill the series down the column, and now you'll notice that the series tool automatically updated the type to date, and we have all of these date unit options to choose from. I'm going to leave the date unit as day because we want to include every day until the end of the year, but you can also create a date series containing just weekdays, months, or years using this tool. Lastly, we just need to enter the date we want to end the series on, so I'm going to enter 12-31-2024, hit OK, and now we have quickly created a date series using the series tool. To wrap up, we learned how to customize a number series in Excel using autofill, the sequence function, and the series tool. Which method was your favorite? My go-to is always the sequence function, but let me know yours in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel for more.